Finding love isn't easy, but have you ever stopped to think that maybe you're going about it all wrong? Who says you have to fall in love with an actual person? Love is hard, and weddings get complicated. Fulfillment takes all forms, and while your eventual marriage to your favorite object may not be considered legal in most states, love is love. Here are a few things that people have formed non-traditional relationships with. If you find yourself looking at, say, your shoes or that tube of tennis balls a little differently after watching this, don't blame us, but do invite us to the wedding. The Berlin Wall From an early age, Ea Rita Berliner Mauer knew she was into things, not people, and never felt the need to hide her orientation. In the 70s, Berliner Mauer wanted to teach others about her feelings and helped coin the term objectum sexuality, or simply OS. In 1979, she made her love official when she married the Berlin Wall, an object she'd loved since she was a child, and changing her last name to literally Berlin Wall. It's easy to make fun of someone like Berliner Mauer for their odd proclivities. However, she and other OS individuals have insisted that it's not just a fetish, but rather a complete orientation. Why the Berlin Wall? She explained, I find long, slim things with horizontal lines very sexy. The Great Wall of China is attractive, but he's too thick. My husband is sexier. Unfortunately, the marriage ended in tragedy. In 1989, the Berlin Wall was demolished. The widowed Berliner Mauer was horrified, but in her deceased husband's place, she kept multiple models of her wall at home. Fortunately for her, she was able to move on. At the time of her death in 2015, she was kind of seeing a nearby garden fence. That's not a joke. A large rock. Tracy Emin is something of a high-concept performance artist. You may recognize her from her controversial installation called My Bed, which recently sold for millions of dollars, and was pretty much just her bed after she soiled it for three days during a mental breakdown. Art, right? I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. <laughs> recently, for the love of art, Emin married an impressive stone in her garden. For Emin, the groom rock represents permanence in an unreliable world. Emin described her feelings about the marriage, saying, it just means that at the moment, I am not alone. Somewhere on a hill facing the sea, there's a very beautiful ancient stone, and it's not going anywhere. It will be there, waiting for me. That's a pretty lovely sentiment, even if the rock and most human beings will never understand. The exhibit itself, titled I Cried Because I Love You, features several of her works in a variety of mediums revolving around her stone-cold wedding. Not one for tradition, Emin wore a white shroud that was initially intended to cover her father's dead body. Now, she has a husband who will never take her for granted. A Barbie doll A man marrying a Barbie doll might sound a little creepy, but it's okay. He was only doing it for his dead wife, who tragically committed suicide 20 years prior to their own personal Barbie dream wedding. Chang Si Soon believed that the doll contained the spirit of his former wife, Sai, and wanted to give her the happy marriage of her dreams. Chang had married another human wife in the years since Sai's death, but his new wife was totally cool with the marriage which took place in 1999. The wedding reportedly looked like a traditional Buddhist ceremony, with a plastic bride adorned with gold jewelry. Chang was relieved to have finally found spiritual peace, saying, now I will marry her spirit and take her home. We will be finally together and able to live in peace. Providing that Ken isn't the jealous type. And we all know that he is. I can't take it here, Ken. I want to go to the butterfly room with you. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that yesterday. A pizza. In 2015, the Mirror reported that an unnamed Russian man decided human love was just too much trouble rather than finding another annoying needy human full of emotions and thoughts and not nearly enough pepperoni. He decided to straight up marry a pizza. The happy groom made no secret about his motivation, saying, Love between two humans is a complicated, wild thing. Pizza would not reject you or betray you. And speaking quite frankly and sincerely, I love it. The marriage was not officially recognized for obvious reasons, the least of which being the fact that the ordeal sounds like a rejected Too Hot for TV Ninja Turtles plot. Multiple Inflatable Animals Though the young man we know only as Mark is happily married to Lila, a dragon-shaped inflatable toy, he's still involved with 14 other inflatables. Featured on TLC's My Strange Addiction, Mark deeply loves the toys and keeps his relationships completely non-sexual. If I could marry Lila, I would because I am that much in love with her. Mark realizes that his relationship to the inflatables might not be completely healthy. By admitting that his obsession with blow-up toys was a coping mechanism left over from his traumatic childhood, Mark has been able to wean himself off his dependency on inflatable objects, even if that only means spending a couple days away from them every week. And what relationship can't benefit from spending a little bit of time apart? The Statue of Liberty Amanda Whitaker of Yorkshire fell head over heels in love with the Statue of Liberty and now can't imagine love with anyone else. 
While Whitaker is admitted being attracted to a few different objects, Lady Liberty, who she calls Libby, is her favorite, for obvious reasons. She's traveled across the sea to visit her partner four times and has been lucky enough to land a kiss. As of 2013, Whitaker considered the statue to be her partner, but they aren't technically married. She knows that too many people love Libby, so she won't subject her to a monogamous relationship. Still, she goes by the name Amanda Liberty, and to celebrate their love, she keeps replicas of the statue in her home, which she can love more freely. Recently, she's given Lady Liberty some space and kind of moved on to chandeliers and candle holders. Twilight Sparkle When you're a brony, how far is too far? Say la, la, if you're a pony, you're my little pony girl. Do you draw the line at wearing your Rainbow Dash t-shirt to dinner? Or do you just go full brony and post your erotic fan art online under your real name? Any potential future employer who doesn't understand your attraction to a cartoon animal just isn't worth your time anyhow. In 2013, a letter from one angry pony lover went viral. The unnamed brony had contacted a deviant art user, asking him to stop requesting erotic art of his fiancée, Twilight Sparkle, saying in part, We're planning on getting married next June or July, should everything go as planned financially speaking. And yes, I have found a wedding chapel that will let me marry someone that most people would consider a fictional character. True to his word, the man claimed to have later gotten married via webcam, since his family in Equestria wasn't going to be able to attend anyway. He continues to publish countless images of himself with his plushy bride even today, visiting museums together, smoking, and sharing sweet, sweet pony love. And the less said about that last one, the better. Hasbro could not be reached for comment, but we're assuming that it would sound something like this. Oh my god! Ah! 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 Oh, that's better. Ah! Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.